In this video, we'll get to know about clouds and different types of clouds. Now, I'll quickly tell you how clouds are formed. When we look at a cloud, it looks like a white, fluffy, gaseous thing that moves around in the air, right? But then clouds are actually a large mass of tiny water droplets consisting of liquid water and crystals of ice formed by the condensation of water vapor in free air. Let's look at the cloud formation process. At first, the heat from the sun warms the ground. That makes the surface of the earth warm and also the surrounding air. Now warm air rises from ground level. And we also know that air around us contains water vapor or moisture. So when warm air rises, it also takes the moisture along with it. As the altitude increases, temperature decreases. So naturally, the temperature of the water vapor or moisture content in the air drops as the height increases. At higher altitude, due to low temperature, warm air cools. Now what happens is that the air becomes incapable of holding any additional amount of moisture. Now another thing that you need to understand is that air also contains tiny minute particles of dust, smoke and salt, which are also known as aerosol. So there's a term given to the aerosol. These are known as hygroscopic condensation nuclei. Now these aerosol have an amazing property of attracting water molecules in the air. And that's how water vapor gets attracted to aerosol and then sticks to these tiny particles in the air. Since these aerosol or hygroscopic condensation nuclei are present in atmosphere in huge quantity, therefore they become the surface for the water vapor to fall on to when water vapor condenses due to low temperature. Let's go a little more deeper. When air cools, it cannot hold any more moisture. Then what happens is the excess amount of water molecules get attached to the hygroscopic condensation nuclei or the aerosol. When enough water molecules gather around the nuclei, a cloud droplet is formed. These cloud droplets are very small and when they are combined in huge number, a big white fluffy cloud is formed that can weigh in tons. Now these cloud droplets are so small that they float in the air as a cloud. And when these cloud droplets combine to form larger drops of crystals, they become too heavy. And due to surface tension, these droplets gradually fall from the sky as rain. Now based on height, size, density and transparency, clouds are grouped under four types. Let's get to know each one of them. The first one is cirrus cloud. They are formed at high altitude, which is around 8 to 12 kilometers horizontally upwards, almost at the height of Mount Everest. Now, they look something like this. I'll put a picture of it. So if you look at it, these clouds are very thin and they look like feather. And since I've mentioned that they are formed at greater heights, so naturally the temperature is going to be very low. That means these clouds are composed of ice crystals. In other words, as I've said that clouds are made up of these tiny water droplets, so these droplets are in the form of ice crystals. So this was the first type of cloud, which is called as cirrus cloud. The second one is cumulus cloud. Now these clouds are formed at a height of 4 to 7 kilometers. If you see the height is lower than cirrus cloud, but still 4 to 7 kilometers is very high up in the sky. I'll put a picture of this cloud as well. Now these clouds are fluffy like a cotton, but then they have flat base. It looks like as if a piece of cotton is floating in the air. And if you look at it carefully, somehow it also looks like a cauliflower. Now these clouds usually appear in patches and can be seen scattered here and there. Since this cloud is bigger than cirrus cloud, therefore it may or may not produce rainfall. Since this cloud exists in small small patches, if at all they come close and combine to form a big cloud, then chances are it may rain heavily. And one more thing you need to understand is that cumulus clouds are bigger than cirrus clouds. That means more water vapor, more water droplets or ice crystals exist within these clouds. Alright, so this was the second type, which is the cumulus cloud. The third one is stratus cloud. Now stratus means existing in layers. That means these are horizontal layered clouds that cover large portions of the sky. Here's a picture of it. These are also known as low altitude clouds, meaning they exist at a height of less than two kilometers. They are found in white and gray color. Since these clouds are found at lower altitude, they even come down on the surface of earth in the form of mist or fog. So we can also say that stratus cloud are like fog that doesn't reach the ground. As I said, they appear in white and gray color 
and they exist in layers. So what happens is they do not allow the sunlight to pass through it, making the day look dull and dark. The fourth and the last one is Nimbus cloud. Now these clouds are black or dark grey and they exist in the form of layers just like the stratus cloud. But they cannot be called as stratus cloud. Have a look at this picture. These clouds are formed at low altitude, around 3 kilometers or so, and sometimes they are very nearer to the surface of the earth. Since I've said that these clouds are black or dark grey in color, that makes them dense and these clouds block the rays of the sun from reaching the surface of the earth. Nimbus clouds do not have any specific shape. However, they are thick and dense. So naturally, it consists of large amount of water vapor. So these were the four types of clouds that exist in our atmosphere. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.